Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and this is really interesting. I'm glad that Microsoft finally came out with something like this, which is their uh, cross adapter uh, scan out. Now, this will jump over to their blog post so we can kind of go through it here. Now, you know, they're saying for an avid gamer, having a robust graphics processing unit, GPU is a non negotiable for optimal gaming experience. Hybrid laptops are equipped with both integrated GPUs, iGPUs, and a discrete GPU, DGPUs, have become a popular choice for many. If you've delved into maximizing your laptop gaming performances, you've undoubtedly heard of specialized hardware solutions like NVIDIA Advanced Optimizer or AMD Smart Access Graphics. And, you know, both of those push those when they release their mobile um, graphics cards and tell you how great that those things are. Um, but f what is your laptop lacks these dedicated features and that is a problem right you need hardware to be put on the board for these dedicated features and if that's lacking well guess what there's going to become a performance hit and that's where this direct x cross adapter scan out comes into play without the need for specialized hardware solution uh, casco enhances the performance of hybrid laptops that meets the basic hardware and windows 11 requirements keep reading to learn more about how Casco works and how it can benefit you. So, you need Windows 11, you will need the latest drivers, or the drivers that support it, which is um, AMD uh, and e each of the graphics providers have a graphics uh, driver that supports this from my reading so far. and. Uh, this is kind of this fun fundamentals that Microsoft putting in here is that um, they have FPS and display latency, so kind of a little little bit in there. But what they get down to is that you know on, you know they on hybrid laptops the integrated GPU handles everyday pr productivity tasks, and the discrete GPU or external eGPU takes care of the heavy graphics work. Usually the iGPU is connected to the internal display and the DGPU or eGPU renders the game visuals and sends them to the iGPU which then the display happens on the screen. Whoops. This balances the need for performance and power savings by transferring the heavy work to the deep GPU for performance while handling the display via the iGPU for power savings. This workload involves two copies of the render frame, one from the D eGPU to the shared research and from the shared research to the iGPU. So that's the problem, right? And this is where uh, Casco comes into play. Now they go and they mention that in the NVIDIA's Optimi or Advanced Optimus or AMD Smart Action Graphics it utilizes a multiplier solution, a MUX. A MUX solution switches the display connection to the DGPU for graphic intensive scenarios like gaming while keeping the display connected to the iGPU for uh, other everyday tasks. So that, you know, we're reducing some complexity in the board. Um, that's not to say that this, you know, the MUX solution doesn't go away, but maybe it does, right? If this solution is, gets more rock solid with the drivers and everything Microsoft is doing, do you need to put that extra engineering in or not, right? Now, and not, all laptops, these hybrid laptops, have a MUX solution, right? So you're kind of, you know, guessing unless you know for sure. Um, and, well, if your laptop comes with, you know, NVIDIA's branding, NVIDIA Opt Advanced Optimus or AMD Smart Access graphics, you know, on there, you kind of know what it has. Now, in there, you know, the Casco screams like this for hybrid laptops that don't have a MUX solution or don't have a MUX enabled. Instead of two copies, Casco, Casco requires only a single copy of the rendered visuals, which then directly scanned out to the display. The optimized process results in better frame FPS and lower display latency. Offers a substantial performance boost on hybrid laptops. And that's where this gets very interesting, right? You are increasing the performance of your current hardware. It's not like you have to go out and buy new hardware and get a new laptop. No, this is current hardware. And they were saying here in Microsoft Test, a popular piece of the games, they observed an average of about 16% frames per second increase and a 27% display latency reduction. Now, I do not have uh, laptops with a hybrid solution, which I would really enjoy right now to be able to test this out. 
but um, this is this is one of those you know hopefully it's something that you'll be able to hit in yours and if you do have this and you do try it out let me know in the comments below if you are seeing this improvement now casco contributed to a 45 percent decrease in timeout detections and recovery events uh, tdrs which means casco enabled laptops are more stable fewer suffer fewer crashes and freezes while playing a game so that is a huge benefit now the, they say that the casco is already integrated into windows 11 and provides a no-cost performance upgrade on hybrid laptops there's no minimum DGP requirement and it is enabled by de default on unsupported devices. All you need to do is have a hybrid laptop that meets the Casco requirements provided below. So it is based upon the processors here. So you need a processor with AMD Ryzen 6000 series or later and uh, Radeon graphics. It's, and for the AMD side, you will need to have a, a Windows uh, display driver uh, model, right, w WDDM, of 3.1 or later. And you can get that by going through, the get, get, pulling up the DirectX dialog. I won't get into that today, maybe a different time, but that is there. And then you need uh, Windows, S Windows 11 build. Just make sure you have a build later than these two. And then if you have an Intel CPU, you need it, to, it needs to have Iris graphics, uh, 11th gen or uh, processor family or later, and it needs to have your WDDM of 3.0 or later. So here we boil it down to what everyone has said um, here, AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. AMD, as a testament to our longstanding partnership and commitment to technology innovation, together we are made hybrid graphics better for gamers, delivering more frames per second at lower latency. Casco is available starting on AMD Ryzen 6000 series processor with Radeon graphics are, and the most advanced graphics processor in this class for high-end gaming and on uh, ultra Thin notebooks. Okay, thanks AMD. That's a long one there. Intel strives to improve gaming performance and Casco delivers such improvements with reduced frame latency and increased frame rates with our integrated and dedicated GPU offerings. Yep, okay. We just went through that as well, Intel. Thank you for clarifying. All currently supported NVIDIA GPUs support Casco starting with the driver version R515 underscore zero zero. The latest GeForce game ready drivers is available to download here. Actually, that was a pretty good uh, response there. At least now we'll have a, a good understanding of what, you know, what driver NVIDIA is supported in because you also need the, you know, just, just WDDM driver to be, you know, in that 3.1 and support this. So that was good to have it. So this is, you know, going to be a a nice little alternative here's more about the cr cross adapter resource scan out um, and what's supported here and kind of the technical more technical details of it I'll post that in the comments below and then this is the only other blog I was able to find on it I was doing some research yesterday uh, on this and I didn't see anything really besides those comments Intel and Nvidia had I wish that they would have had a little bit more here because I wanted to you know dive in and really you know fully understand what each of them were but um you know amd kind of hits on the same thing so they went through and here they have you know hardware requirements when the game launches frames and they kind of go through with this figure where the app renders on the dgpu windows copies the render adapter dgpu surface to cross adapter apu surface and the linear tiling then the windows copies the cross adapter APU surface to displayable surface for scan out um, uh, retile bit and then Windows presents the surface so they kind of went through uh, from when rendering begins to the rendering output to the renderer uh, output copied and then the render renderer output is displayed on the screen which gives you a nice little visual of how this all happens within that so you don't have the full you know copy and duplication it's just being you know being displayed out um, which is here to a virtual resource called cross adapter display surface as the name implies both the APU and DP, DGPUs have access to that surface so they're both being, being able to access that surface so from my understanding here is you populate it 
and then it goes out to um, the screen. Um, and they go through a little bit more, and AMD goes, how much performance will improve varying on pine game, the game resolution and detail settings in which the GPU is used. Overall, the end users can expect an average of 8% FPS improvement and 1.2 millisecond improvement in latency. So these are AMD's numbers. They went, um, they said there's some outliers as much as 50%. And Microsoft reported frame rate improvements of 16 and 27% reduction in latency. So, again, I wish I had a laptop to be able to test this on. But um, end users with the latest version of Windows 11 and updated AMD drivers can benefit from this. And though you need to adjust system settings, the feature also enables automatically if graphics are externally attached with no need to change additional system settings, which is another, you know, factor to this, right? You external, you connect that external uh, GPU and of course it, there's, I don't think there's a mux in really any of those. It could be, I could be wrong, but this is another way to improve that. Hopefully you get a better performance there as well. And these are some of the benefits that I like to see from Microsoft coming out and, you know, you, working with AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA to be able to really deliver and help up performance, eliminating bottlenecks you know, you could see maybe you actually get a little bit better, um, you know, usage and less power consumption. I don't think it's going to be that much, but, you know, when wherever you can save a little bit can also be a help in the long run. Um, you know, you obviously are saving something because you're getting a performance enhancement from that, right? Anywhere between 8 to 16% in that FPS and the latency reduction. And that, that means that, you know, just by not having to copy that over and everything else, you're saving that, which is a benefit to the gamer that's using these laptops, um, these hybrid laptops, and seeing that benefit. Now, I don't know if this would be something that also migrates over to the desktop in certain scenarios, depending upon how you have everything connected up, but it could, right? Um, let's say you plug into your uh, iGPU that's integrated your CPU and you still have a dedicated GPU and you didn't plug directly into there, maybe this is a scenario that it could work in as well. I don't know how that would apply, but I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. And these are things I like to see as improvements because um, we, we should be improving it, making sure that people always are having a better experience um, and, you know, getting better experiences as these products continue to develop and continue to improve, right? One can always be with better hardware, but, you know, better software is a good thing as well. And, you know, hopefully there is, um, I haven't looked to see if there's an equivalent, something like this on Linux, but hopefully that comes, if it's not, let's hopefully that also comes along because um, they can also help out there, especially since Linux is getting, I, I got to retouch on that, getting, you know, gaming on Linux again. It's been a while since I've gone through that uh, <laughs> workflow for me. But I want to say, let me know what your comments are on this below, this uh, Casco out, this, uh, you know, for hybrid graphics. If you are a gamer on these uh, type of devices, these hybrid laptops, let me know if you've seen any performance enhancements by using this. And, uh, um, yeah, I, you know, I do wish it was on older hardware for AMD, but, you know, sometimes maybe there is a missing um, instruction or something else that's on these CPUs that is needed before it can really be supported, and it looks like it's 6,000 or newer now. So, yeah, I mean, 11th gen is what we're going to be three gens out from, the, four gens out from that, so um, three gens, something like that. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of products in the market that potentially can benefit from this. So let me know in the comments below if this is some benefit that you see. If not, are, are you going to look into it? Did you do any performance testing to see if there's a benefit? All that I'm very interested in. And I do appreciate you guys taking the time to support Grave Load, liking, subscribing, sharing the video. It really does help with the channel. And until next time, God bless.